Okay, so got everything demoed out yesterday. We addressed the seal plates with chemical to get rid of the damage the mold had on the chemicals. That's gonna dry while we grind down the cement here. Had a hard time getting the cement bed taken up. There was no pan down. That was pretty obvious when we saw the water damage. So the guy didn't put a pan down. All of this was rotted out. What we're doing today is smoothing this out. We're gonna make sure that drains level. Pour our pan, put our pan liner in, and address this cabinet on the other side. Then we'll probably cut and build decent sized shelves, 18 inches, by the distance of these two studs. supposed to be used. He got a three-piece drain here, but he didn't put a liner in. His liner goes between here, between the top piece and the bottom piece. And then your third piece is the drain itself that you level it out. But I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit around here and get this piece off so I can put my pan liner down the wall and beneath the second layer on the drain. Now we're gonna set the curb use pressure treated two by fours because it's touching the cement the slab on the house two because it's a water source area this will still be covered by the pan liner you just want to be double safe and then what i'm going to do is put the first board down drill down into the slab and i'm set Tapcom screws. Into the ground. So this is a good hold. It's gonna be a nice strong curve. properly leaked water outside into the bathroom same guy put this on here and tile the other side <clears throat> water ran out here leaked slowly it soaked into this cabin so not only did you have damage to the shower but other areas let's go take a look side of their wall. <clears throat> Water damage. This is 
wood it soaked up you know it soaked up a good amount but not a whole lot over two years mind you i believe that's mdf back there and drywall and uh it just soaked it all up so we're gonna have to address this from the inside of the cabinet rather than tearing out the whole cabinet we'll cut out two foot of damaged material and replace it and this shelf is already gone from the damage so keep in mind that a bad shower can cause way more problems <laughs>